What's up, YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel, Well Done Tanks. So, I've, I've got a, an unboxing to do for you, but the thing is, is I didn't order anything. So there, okay, there is a bit of a story behind this box. Um, <clears throat> full disclosure, I did not pay for this. I had no idea this was going to be sent to me. And it's from Aquarian Co-op, and I can't tell you, I I was kind of like, I was freaking out when I found out about this. I mean, you can ask uh, Michael with Barry Aquatics and Peter with Guppy Guru. I sent them a message just like, like, dudes, like, I think that I just got sent something by Aquarian Co-op. So I got out of work the other day, uh, got my phone, right? We have locker boxes, we put our phones in, got my phone, <clears throat> turned it on. And I always have to go through like the you know the notifications, right? Like you're like YouTube notifications, Instagram notifications, Facebook notifications, like all the social media stuff. Well, then I get into my email, and it says order confirmation, shipping confirmation from Aquarian Co-op, and I'm sitting there like, I did not order anything. Like I just like who hacks an account just to ship me something, right? So I'm racking my brain of like. Did I order something and completely forget about it? Like, no, like the order confirmation shows today's date. Well, then I look at it and I could not believe, like, let's put it this way. Aquarian Co-op just massively upgraded my fish room and I can't be more thankful enough. So again, this, this is entirely sponsored by Aquarian Co-op because I did not buy this, but I am so excited to have this in my fish room. So, Enough of me talking, let me show you. So again, like this is legit from Aquarian Co-op, that all kind of a thing. I just blocked out my address. <laughs> this, I couldn't believe it. Like I legit could not believe it. And I'm, and I was, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited too. I got the Murphy sticker. Now that is considered an upgrade, but <clears throat> that's not the, uh, that's not the exact upgrade. But we are still 100% happily gonna take it, guys. So, I did not know Aquarium Co-op was going to start uh, stocking this item until I got this sent to me. So I really, I had no idea who they were gonna start stocking this. But I am super happy that they did. Aquarium Co-op sent me a linear piston air pump to run my fish room with. I, who does that? So Corey, Randy, all Aquarian Co-op crew, thank you so much for this. Like, you have no idea how happy this makes me. Um, God, I, I, so I recently just, I think I just filmed and put out the video actually talking about the air system and how I built it and what pump I was gonna use to run it. But I, guys, I can't, I can't thank them enough. Like they legit sent me out. That's awesome. Look at this thing. Ah, get out of the box. They sent me a metal blower 45. I God, okay. Linear linear air piston pumps are the quietest air pump on the market. You can literally like I could sleep with this in my room and wouldn't even be affected by it. These are so simple to set up and. With that, in that 45 liters of air per minute, that's the same size of air pump I was gonna be using anyways. Yeah, this is a little bigger real estate, but guys, this pump will last for years. So I, I cannot, Corey, thank you so much for sending me this. Um, you know, I, I guys, Aquarian Co-op has done it again. So they're now stocking this Meadow Blower LA45, 45 liters of air per minute. And it's honestly like one of the best budget options air pumps you can get. And now Aquarian Co-op runs it. And at 45 liters of air, that's so much air. Like you will be amazed at what you can actually power with these things. To give you an idea, my last fish room where I was running larger tanks was actually all run by the uh, by a 45 liter air pump, a linear piston air pump. Um, and I was running all of those Zis filters and sponge filters and matten filters and big lift tubes, like guys, it was incredible what you can run with these things. So links will be leave down in the description below. Uh, nothing's affiliate this time though. This is 100% all Aquarian Co-op's doing. So let's, um, let's jump in and show you how I'm going to install this. 
All right, so it's been a couple days since I actually got the air pump uh, shipped to me. I needed a few extra parts to make this work uh, with the air system I had set up, but guys, it is so simple to set up these air pumps, and these things are so quiet. So you can't go wrong with the price, you can't go wrong with the build. Uh, these type of linear, linear air piston pumps will last literally forever if you maintenance them. Okay, maybe not forever, but like 20 plus years. So I have no concerns with these things, but I, I'm, I'm so happy I have this. Let me show you kind of how we set this up and how we attached it to the air system I already set up. That's why I love this, right? Is the PVC pipe I already ran on that breathing rack, this connected right into it. So we're in my, my utility room. And this is the air pump again. So this is the uh, the 45 liter per liter, 45 liters of air per minute that Aquarium Co-op sent out to me. And I just put it on a simple shelf. Just installed these to each uh, two by four. These pumps do not weigh much. I literally think this is only like maybe six pounds. But just to be safe, I did hit studs. That's why the shelf is actually so big. Is this only takes up like seven inches of real estate? But I needed this just to match up with the studs. So fortunately in my utility room, <clears throat> we have the, the plug back here. And don't worry, this water line is gonna be connected up out of the way and everything else. But so this is just a perfect setup for me to allow to plug the air pump in. And then we just ran tubing up through the wall. So if you previously remember, this is where I was actually going to house my old air pump that I was going to use. <clears throat> and we were gonna use the uh, push connect fittings. But these you can actually really connect in with this uh, soft vinyl tubing. So I did change out the tubing here. This is actually a piece of uh, Python, the Python water change tube. I learned about this from uh, Randy with the Aquarius podcast, and we'll definitely talk more about this and how I applied it. But just, you just heat up the ends with some hot water, connect it to the air pump. And then over here, instead of running the quarter inch RO tubing, you know, this stuff, this is actually the water line. We just changed it out to PVC pipe. Uh, put a threaded barbed adapter here, connected that to it and ran it up through the wall, and let me show you how it pressurizes. So we come around here into the actual fish room. <clears throat> so we just continue, this is the half inch PVC pipe, just drilled a new hole, ran this through the wall here, up along the corner, and then used these zip ties. This is actually holding the water line, but it's the same zip tie. Perfect pipe holder. Get the one with the uh, screw hole. I just screwed up into a stud so this pipe is in place. And instead of having the threaded T here with that quarter inch connects, we just ran more PVC pipe to it. Just changed that out, ran over half inch PVC pipe, it drops right down into it, and then it pressurizes this entire air system off the 45 liters of air. Um, really easy to set up an airline. And if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to run this around like an entire fish room. Just tee this off and literally run pipe all around the top of your ceiling and then connect back up to it. Then you can do drop down lines. But since I wanted to run this on, and you could even run that around like the ceiling and then really like run manifolds. There's so many different options you can do with an air system. But with since I set this up on the breeding rack, we just connected the pump there into it. And it's that simple. So let me show you how quiet this is. So if you remember, I did that noise test on the old air pump was fairly loud, but check out how quiet these pumps are. Again, this is running 45 liters of air. I, I don't know if you can actually even hear that. This is like a little louder than the USB air pumps. And this is doing 45 liters of air per minute. So right now this is pressurizing through here up to the PVC. Come back into the fish room and we have air. Like there's air coming out of all the uh, all the open valves right now. And again, I, I can barely hear it. And that's just open air running. So a lot of air getting pushed through this half inch PVC airline right now though. Again, coming out of there. And that's the easiest way to actually connect air up to your fish room. And I cannot thank, I cannot thank Corey enough for sending me out this air pump. Massive upgrade to the fish room. This thing is so quiet. I love these air pumps. Um, 
I say I wasn't going to do this one or this type mainly because of cost. So I cannot thank him enough for sending this out to me, upgrading my fish room this way. But I will say though, if you want a budget option, more budget than this one, that's still kind of the good option, check out those active aqua air pumps. But if you want the best option possible for your fish room, Aquarium Co-op now stocks these air pumps. I can't say enough good things about these linear air piston pumps and the price point, the way they run, ease of connectivity. And guys, Aquarium Co-op is just, they're good people, great people. So thank you for joining me on this one. I hope this, again, I hope this helps. Hope this showed how simple it is to set up an airline. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Have you used these linear air piston pumps before? Are you excited that Aquarium Co-op now sells these? But Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep working on the fish room down here, and we'll see you on the next one.